Have you ever wondered exactly what you should be looking for in a husband or a boyfriend? Have you spent so much time not knowing what it is that you should be searching for confused, which is exactly why you haven't found the right man for you? It's okay. On today's show, we're going to be discussing six ways to know a man is your husband or boyfriend so that you can finally start focusing on the few important character traits that you must know and understand in order to finally find the right man for you. So number one, we call this here for the meal. I want you to imagine if you were to feed a child, one of the things you would probably do if you are trying to get that child to eat their vegetables is you would tell them that an incentive to eating their vegetables is the amazing piece of chocolate cake that they are going to be able to get if they eat their vegetables first because kids are going to be like oh my god I, I look at this chocolate cake i want this chocolate cake it's going to give me a sugar high and that's going to taste so good in my mouth and in my belly i want that piece of chocolate cake so i'm going to eat these vegetables cool fine what's going to happen is Eventually, down the line, you're going to come to a conundrum. Let's say one day, for example, you didn't have access to any more chocolate cake. So now your child only has vegetables, but you've trained that child to only eat vegetables whenever there's chocolate cake. So now when you ask that child to eat vegetables, the child's like, no, I don't want to eat my vegetables because there's nothing for me at the end of eating these nasty, nasty vegetables. I want you to be looking for the type of men who are here for the meal and not here for the dessert with you. And the meal is everything that comes with you, the emotions, the uh, connection, getting to know you, getting to better understand you, building with you in this relationship. The meal is how he sustains himself in the relationship, how you continue to grow and continue to build. When you find yourself in a relationship with the man, regardless of the fact that, yes, of course, he's going to be attracted to you. So, of course, he's going to want to sleep with you. But when you can be with a man who isn't hyper focused on that as his incentive, then you know you found someone who you can be long term with. You'll start to notice the type of men that will approach you and they're solely focused on the dessert. They'll talk about it all the time and they'll talk about it in a way where it's like, damn, how soon are we going to do it? We're going to do it tomorrow. The entire meal is not what just comes with you when he gets to drag rabbit himself inside of you for 90 seconds. It's also who you are as a human being. It's also growing with you. It's also building a connection uh, with you by understanding you, asking you questions, getting to know you better. Dessert is awesome, but you can't live off of the dessert. This is why it's so amazing to be asking guys questions and allowing them to talk and take the conversation wherever their mind goes. Number two, I want you to be looking for a man who is like rice and chicken. If I were to ask you, hey, girly, I'm looking for a really good way to lose weight. I want to get stronger. I want to get bigger. Ah, I want to be like a monster in the gym. Please recommend to me a meal plan that I can take that's simple. I don't have to spend a whole bunch of time cooking a whole bunch of stuff. You'd probably be like, uh, I guess you could eat rice and chicken. You got carbs there. You got protein there. Keep it simple. And by eating the right amount of portion of rice and chicken will sustain you for a lifetime. What you also should be looking for in a man is a man who is like rice and chicken. He's not necessarily going to take you over the moon one day and down in the dumps one day. He's more going to be consistent. But that consistency, what we might consider to be boring, is going to allow you to actually build something out of this relationship. At the end of the day, the result you want, where you want to be able to go through ups and downs in your relationship with your man where you want to be able to rely on your man he can be consistent with you in the relationship and not just treat you amazing one day when it benefits him but treat you amazing every day it's every single day where you get princess treatment so it's not going to feel like a crazy dopamine hit to be with the rice and chicken type of man you'll feel good you're going to feel more sustainable or more steady that is a good thing so some of you on the younger side still in your mind frame where you think the best version of a partner for you is someone that gives you the most excitement it should be amazing one day and then the other day we should be screaming and yelling at each other and he should have a knife to my throat but i'm here to tell you when you know a man is actually going to be a good husband or boyfriend to you you should be looking for a man who's like rice and chicken what you will get and what the most important thing to receive from a man is consistency and you'll be able to build your relationship off of that consistency because you'll know what to expect you need someone that can take care of you and also assuming that you want to have children maybe some of you don't 
can also take care of your children as well. Be responsible with your children as well. Number three, you need to be with a man who is hydrated. And I'm not actually talking about hydrated like H2O. You need a man who is not thirsty for attention. Let's say that you and this guy, for whatever reason, you guys have been in constant arguments and just situations and things haven't been going well. A guy who is not properly hydrated is going to be saying to himself, well, if I'm not receiving attention or love from you, if you're not going to praise me and tell me how amazing I am, well, I'm going to go out and find someone, whether it be going to the club, I'm going to go to the bar that will tell me how amazing I am. Validation is a concept that we all suffer from and can easily be manipulated by. He's going to start acting out in order to receive that attention, whether it be from you or from other people. And see, you can't work with that when it comes to a boyfriend or a husband, because then you're always going to be trying to correct him or he's always going to be making mistakes in the relationship because he's looking for that attention. They're going to say things that are out of pocket. They're going to do things that are out of pocket. Even if it's detrimental to your relationship, they're not doing it because they want attention. So a guy who's thirsty for attention might go out and go meet someone at the club or the bar and start chatting them up and that he can tell this story of how him and you haven't been working out and how you're not properly doing this and you're not properly doing that so that that girl can say, oh, well, you know, if I was in a relationship with you, I would never do that. And that's how I would treat you if I was your girlfriend. And he'll say, yeah, yeah, that's how someone should be treating me. You're always going to have times where you guys disagree. You don't see eye to eye. That does doesn't mean that you now change the way you approach the relationship. We want you to be with a man who's hydrated, that's capable of going through things with you and not adjusting or changing his behavior. You want to be looking for, okay, great. You treat me like a princess when you're happy and when you're good and everything's awesome. I also want to see how do you treat me when our relationship isn't going as well? Are you capable of staying put, dealing with your anger, dealing with your emotions and staying consistent in this relationship? If you're that easily attention starved that you can't properly be focused enough to like fix and adjust behavior and work on things while we table the intimacy for a second, then you're not capable of actually sustaining sustaining a relationship. Number four, you want a man who knows how to water his own grass. One of the biggest issues in relationships is the idea that the grass is always greener on the other side. It is never true. Never, never. You will never have better relationships with people just because they're new people. You have better relationships with people because you work on those relationships. An example of a man who doesn't water his own grass. Let's say me and you start dating, right? And we're sitting on this dinner date and I'm like, you know what? I like you so much and I think I want to make you my wife. And you're sitting here like, that sounds amazing. Yeah, so I guess sounds good that you want to make me your wife. I guess that means that you're intentional and all that good stuff. And as we get to know each other, let's say it goes two months and then three months and then four months, that excitement that I brought to the date where I was like, oh my God, you're the best thing since sliced bread. And now all of a sudden after meeting you, I'm kind of like, oh, you know, you know, uh, I kind of think our relationship's not really going where I want it to go. And I kind of think, you know, I'd be better off single. And then you're like, wait, what? Explain to me how this is not working for you anymore. Three months ago, you were so excited for us to hop into this relationship. One week after you guys break up, you find out from a friend that you guys share that he is now in a relationship with a new girl who works at his work. See, the men that have that mindset will always be of the belief that the grass is greener on the other side. They will always believe that that new girl is exactly who they're looking for, not because she's actually what he wants, but simply because she's shiny and new. If you're with a man who doesn't understand how to water his own grass, he will constantly be looking at someone else's lawn, when in reality, if he would just focus some of his time and attention on the grass that he does have, figure out how to mend it, take care of it, he would be able to have that same grass that he's looking over the yonder and admire. Admiring. It will be detrimental to you because you'll be investing yourself into someone that can't see the value in taking care of this relationship and maintaining this relationship. A man who knows how to water his own grass can take the experiences that he had in his relationship, can understand what he could have done better or adjustments he could have made, and he'll be able to speak on those adjustments as in, I now understand this about myself, and I know that bringing into this relationship, I want to make sure that I don't see the same end result 
result as I did before. So I want to address this now. I want us to work on this now. And you'll notice an initiative to take those lessons to make something that actually works out better now, so important for you to be asking a lot of questions when you're dating a guy because you want to be getting out of him. What is his mindset and mind frame towards this? And number five, the way of water. If you've ever been in a pool before, say you did a cannonball, you got water in your nose and you're like, oh, that stings, that feels nasty. It's amazing because water, while it can be so refreshing and while it can literally save our lives and we need it to survive because water has a really special ability to be able to adapt to so many different environments and affect us in so many different ways. Part of what makes water so amazing, dangerous also, is because it's able to take so many shapes and forms and adapt in so many different ways and flow and be flexible to exactly whatever it is our needs are. You should be looking for a man who's able to take many shapes and forms in order to make adjustments to what you need specifically at that moment in time. If you're with a man who is incapable of knowing how to make adjustments, whether it be because he doesn't know how to or just because he doesn't want to, then you're not going to be with the man who you can make a boyfriend or husband long term. You're going to run through uh, things that must must be solved and adjusted. Not everything's going to be perfect. I want you to be anticipating when things go wrong. What is your skill set to be able to adjust or work with the fact that things are going to go wrong? A relationship is going to be filled of compromise and filled of adjustments. You're two different human beings. He's an individual that has grown up in his family, with his parents, with his siblings, um, in a specific environment. And you've grown up with your own set of individual circumstances with your family and your siblings and your friends and your environment. And so, of course, when you grow up completely different individuals, you're going to have two different ways of thinking and going about life. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're working together in a relationship, sometimes you're going to disagree. But very important that you have a man that is capable of making adjustments. If he cannot adjust his behavior and be able to understand how to make those adjustments, then you're not going to be able to continue an ongoing relationship. Let's say you're dating a guy, right? In his past relationships, he's been accustomed and they're in a fight. He gets to disappear for a week and then just come back like nothing happened. That worked for him and his girl didn't mind that. That might not work for you whatsoever. So then you have to be looking at it as, I'm gonna let you know right now, it doesn't work for me for us to be in a fight or an argument and then you disappear for a week. So then he says to himself, okay, well, I do also need space, which is why I disappear for a period of time when I'm in a fight. It's valid, it's fair, but it's also fair to you that a week is a crazy amount of time and there needs to be some sort of compromise so that he can still get his time to think and feel uh, what he needs to feel. But there's also a reasonable amount of time where you can also feel like I still want you to be here and I still want to feel like you care. Uh, an example of making an adjustment is saying, okay, why don't we figure out a time frame that works for both of us? Like if I'm really upset about something, I will take at maximum 24 hours to take my space. And in the event in which I need more time than that, I will let you know that I still care about you and I still wanna solve this, but I need a little bit more time to gather my feelings. It's also about understanding how to make an adjustment for what works best for you. Because part of making an adjustment, the way I just said, water takes shape and form and whatever you need specifically is the same way he needs to understand if he's gonna be your man, how to take shape and make adjustments to fit what you need specifically. And number six, you want a Rubik's Cube expert. One of the most important things you need in a man is a man who is a problem solver. If your man does not know how to solve problems, you will never be able to exist in your feminine because you will be constantly on edge feeling like if I don't do it, it won't get done. If I don't hover over you, then I know this won't get done the right way and I know I'm gonna have to come in and do it myself. So subsequently, you end up actually doing everything yourself. Even when you ask him to do it, you know that he won't do it the right way. You end up being very frustrated, but also you never get to embody or live in your feminine where you feel like your man can take care of anything because you don't trust him to take care of anything because you see that he's not capable of problem solving. I'm not just talking about problem solving of like, oh, we're in a fight, so how 
do we problem solve this? I'm also talking about problem solving and knowing how to address situations, knowing how to go about life, knowing how to take care of things, knowing how to take care of you, even in ways that you might not realize. I had a girl one time tell me one of the things that I hated about my ex-boyfriend is that anytime it came to booking a restaurant to go to, I literally had to make sure that I called the restaurant, booked the reservation, that the reservation was at the right time and it was at the place that we were supposed to be going. Because every time I would rely on him to book the reservation, either he wouldn't book it, he would book it at the wrong time, or when we showed up, something would happen and the reservation would be all messed up and we couldn't eat. And I got so sick of it, I literally could not allow him to book any of our reservations anytime we would go out to eat somewhere. He didn't feel like she had a man. She felt like she had a son or a boy. That is one of the things you should be looking out for when you're looking out for a man who's going to embody what you consider to be a husband or a boyfriend, a man who knows how to solve problems in your fight, but also in general, where he knows how to actually get things done. He knows how to be the best version of himself. And he also knows how to take care of you and try to be thinking of you and the things that you need as well. You want a Rubik's Cube expert that is so good putting those all those colors together that not only can he solve his own problems, but he can actually help you with your own problems.